Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Ian Chikino, back with another strategy video. Today we're going to look at a ZBZ strategy that involves speedlings, banelings, and just general chaos. So let's jump into the build order right now. So let's take a look at the build order. We've got your Overlord at 9, your Gas at 14 Supply, your Pool at 14, Overlord at 15, Queen at 16, and once you get 100 Gas, you're going to start your speed. Now, I like to pull two guys off Gas. Once I reach 100 Gas, that way I can get enough Minerals to be able to make my um, four Zerglings. Right after that, you make your four Zerglings at 18 after your queen finishes, and then you'll be able to set up your expansion at 20. Now, once I uh, get enough minerals to make that those zerglings in that expansion, I like to put two more guys, those two guys back on gas, because as soon as you finish, or as soon as you start your expansion, you're going to want to throw up a bailing nest at 20 as well, and then it'll be pretty much set for the rest of the game, just continual zerg production after that. So once you have your first zerglings out, I'd like to go up and scout, see if there's an expansion, try and pick off any straggling zerglings you can get, especially if you can get a fight that favors in your numbers. So try and pick off any, you know, outliers. But uh, don't lose anything here in this situation. If you uh, if you can avoid it, don't lose anything. You're gonna try and keep your guys alive because those are the zerglings you're gonna be turning into banelings. And uh, definitely don't let your opponent chase you down or try and hide you. So try and uh, put your banelings in a weird location that they probably won't scout out. So we'll see here as soon as you get your first. As soon as you get enough gas, throw down six banelings, and then of course reinforcements on the way, streaming across the map, and don't forget to do larva injects from your queen at your main, because if you don't have those larva injects there, you're not going to have enough supply, you're not going to have enough larva to produce zerglings in, in, in a great enough uh, number to take over your opponent. So here we go, just go straight on in there. Uh, your goal is to have the banelings connect with the drones of your opponent, so you have an economic advantage going on to the mid-game, try and pick off any queens or... Uh, any other type of uh, anything, which is basically with your Zerglings. And there we go, take out the drones. Works out pretty good right there. Uh, the, the Zerglings kind of work as linemen. They kind of go up there and block, get stuff out of your way. You can kind of suicide them into your opponent if you see, like, they have one bailing up already. Uh, this is a very, very fast bailing build with speed incorporated. So you have super fast speedlings for reinforcements. And that's kind of the point of getting speed in this situation. Uh, that way, you can have reinforcements from your man come all the way across the map extremely fast. So that's the it. That's the end for this build order. Like I, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but anyways, I, I think this build order is very versatile. You can use it in uh, in all the matchups. Um, I think whenever you're going to go against T, I prefer to use it if your opponent shows a tech lap on a barracks. Uh, if they go for like the standard um, Hellion. Hellion uh, reactor Hellion opening, it's kind of hard. Uh, sometimes I've made it work, but it's a little bit riskier. Uh, because if they have good control, they can keep their Hellions alive, and then after that, you're kind of in trouble. But uh, also in Protoss, I think for like a Forge Fast Expand, sometimes you can get it, get it to work if they have like bad placement in their buildings or they only have one pylon powering everything up. Sometimes you get lucky, different situations like that. So scout out your opponent to, you know, see what they're going at. But in CVZ, I don't really think it's that uh, big of a deal to even scout your opponent uh, if you're going to go for this build. Uh, one thing, the one build that uh, does really well against this Baneling bus is whenever your opponent goes for like a hatch first and they quickly throw up a spine crawler at that expansion and they throw up they throw up a quick defensive Baneling nest and skip speed so that we have like three or four Banelings and then a spine crawler at the front and they have queens on the ramp. That's probably the hardest uh, build to deal with uh, if, you're, if, if your Zerg opponent decides to go with that. So keep an eye out for that one too. Hope you guys enjoyed this strategy video. Um, no, I haven't done any in a long time, so I'm going to try to do these a little bit more regularly. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you get all the new strategy videos as they come out. See you guys later.